Nice catch, Haley. What's going on, guys? We are back with fellow Drops Brew Guide videos this week with Manhattan, um, a delicious Columbia, a delicious thermal shock anaerobic processed Columbia from Diego Bermudez. We're super excited to have Manhattan this week featured on Drops. This coffee is really delicious. It's just raspberries and cream. It's big lychee energy. We love it. But I'm going to go ahead and actually turn it over to Manhattan themselves to talk about this coffee and just give you the rundown and the deal. What the heck is thermal shock anaerobic uh, process? They will let you know and we will be back. Welcome, Colossians, to the Manhattan Coffee Roasters Cupping Lab and Roastery. Uh, we'll be supplying you with a delicious Castillo from Colombia, from Cauca, from Mr. Diego Bermudez, who's a longtime partner of ours. Um, we've done a bunch of projects together uh, to uh, push the absolute limit of what's possible in coffee. So on the bag, with processing, it says that it's a thermal shock anaerobic coffee. Um, it's obviously a little bit more complicated than that because Diego actually owns a uh, company that designs um, technologies that are rarely implemented at Origin, for example. Um, his fermentation is actually uh, successive bioreactors uh, and there are so many other facets that are involved that are quite complicated, but you can definitely read about it on our website. Um, this is Castillo. So it's two, uh, two fermentations, anaerobic thermal shock. Uh, and we are saying that it tastes like Turkish delight, raspberry and lychee. Hope you enjoy it and uh, enjoy the drop. Welcome back to Fellow Land. Thank you so much, Manhattan, for that rundown. Um, super helpful insights there. Uh, I'm gonna show you now how to brew this wonderful coffee on Stag X. I'm only gonna brew on Stag X today because we found that this coffee presents itself really nicely when um, brewed with filter. Um, it gives a lot of clarity to the cup and also allows for the structure of the flavor profile to present itself um, again in a way that's interesting but also and also nuanced. If you were looking for any other brew tips, you can go ahead and look at any one of our other videos uh, for our standard Clara, French press recipes, our um, XF recipes, and what have you, even AeroPress. Now that I've pre-warmed my dripper and vessel, I'm gonna let the water sit just for a second while I weigh out 25 grams of this coffee. I'm going to increase the amount of dry dose that I use and I'm also going to grind really fine just because this roast profile being sort of Nordic style you really can't you're not going to over extract you can really push you can really tighten grinds you can really up the amount of coffee you're using and you're never going to you're never going to pull too too much out just by the very nature of this roast. So I'm going to measure 25 grams with Ode with SSP I'll grind on a three with uh, standard Ode, standard burrs, I would do two and one click. It's pretty consistent, pretty consistent and light. Very, still very developed, but pretty darn light. Gotta go grind. Again, you can't push too much out of this coffee, um, but you do wanna, you do wanna tighten up that grind to pull out a lot of the, uh, all of that like lychee, that sweetness, that raspberries and cream just just definitely, definitely tighten up the grind to pull all that out. I've already dumped the water I used to pre-warm out of my vessel, so I'm ready to start pouring. I'm going to brew at 205 degrees, keeping that uh, hotter temperature as, uh, so as to promote more extraction of, again, this light roasted coffee. And I'm gonna go ahead and shake my bed of grounds even. You always do that. You never forget to do that. We don't want mountains and valleys. We don't want an uneven extraction and if we can eliminate variables, why wouldn't we, right? So, kettle is heated to 205 and I'm ready to hit that bloom up to 50 grams. Roughly double the amount of coffee that you used. If you go a little over, not a huge deal at all. Don't worry about a couple of grams here or there, um, but don't go too, too over. Like once you start pushing 10 or more grams, um, that can throw off your bloom a bit. I'm going to smell the already wonderful aromas coming out of this coffee, but I'm going to let it 
bloom for about 35 seconds because the bed of grounds looks like it had dried out and it was ready for the second pour. And I'm pouring up to 150 grams. Even concentric circles inside and out, finding my meditative moment. And make sure to smell after bloom too. You're getting that um, very, again, I keep saying lychee, but like lychee on the nose, maybe some slight floral kind of tea-like nuances um, just behind, but mostly that lychee and also, I forgot to mention that like very specific um, sort of acute raspberry sweetness. All right, ready for the second pour. We're gonna go up to 250 grams. And I'm gonna go all the way out, as I've said before, to the edge of the filters here because channeling is not really a risk with Stag X, but not getting enough out of the coffee inside the ridges is. So you really are going out almost like you're pre-warming again, all the way out to the edge and then back in. Oh, I'm so impatient, I just wanna drink this already. Sometimes you just gotta hang out and watch the coffee drip, you know? Um, this is gonna take a little bit longer to drip, of course. Uh, we did <laughs> a pretty fine grind, so it's probably gonna come out uh, somewhere around the four minute mark, and that's totally fine. Again, over extraction is really, really difficult, if not close to impossible. I mean, anything's possible with coffee. But um, you really, you, you don't have to be afraid to push your limits here. Um, I, I, in fact, I encourage you to. Uh, brew at a little hotter temperature maybe, um, you know, hot, hotter than 205 even, right? Because hotter, pulling more out. Um, all right, and we're gonna pour our last pour before I keep rambling. I'm gonna go all the way up to 350 grams. That is 12 ounces of yield out. All right. All right, yeah, so this, is, this actually looks like it's gonna finish probably at four minutes and 30 seconds. We look like we've got a minute to drip here. Um, again, standard, you know, brew pour over time typically is in between three and four minutes. Sometimes some coffees just wanna extract for a little bit longer and that's totally fine. I mean, I'd encourage you to even brew maybe with less coffee at higher temperatures. Just mess around with this coffee. There's not a whole lot that you can do that won't allow the coffee to express itself nicely. I would caution against brewing under 205 degrees, however, because this roast, uh, because the roast profile is so light that you run the risk of under extracting or not pulling, up, pulling enough out because you really kind of need that heat for this coffee. And we're still dripping. And while that's happening, I'm gonna grab my vessel to taste from, pre-warm that as well so that I don't have any flavor effect changes. I don't have any changes to the flavor notes by shocking the coffee from pouring it from a hot uh, pre-warmed vessel to a room temperature one. So I'm going to do that. So vessel is pre-warming. Coffee is almost done dripping. Actually, this is going to come out. I was completely wrong, almost completely wrong. Um, this is going to come out closer to five minutes, which again, totally fine. Some coffee wants more time to brew. You, you run very little risk of over extracting here. All right. And at the end, again, you want to look to see a flat, even bed of grounds. I don't know, guys, I think I did all right. All right, dump out the excess water from your vessel to pre-warm. And then we're going to taste this darn coffee once it cools. And if I could speak a little bit to um, an AeroPress recipe just for a second. Again, we're not going to brew with AeroPress, but I would highly suggest um, doing a... 14.5 or 15 grams in, 200 or 210 grams out, um, 205 degrees, keep that temperature, um, and grind a little bit coarser than you would for pour over, but not too, too much coarser. Um, and that's, that's what we've been running with, and that's, that's what I think has been expressing well, uh, especially, especially with AeroPress with Fresmo. Let's give it a smell. It's definitely not cool enough to taste just yet, but I really want to. On the, it's a little bit pulled back on the raspberry aromatics. It's more like raspberry, raspberry and cream aromatics, less of that acute, like fresh raspberry smell. But definitely the lychee still comes through. And just sort of like a, 
maybe like a little a little tartness to it on the nose. Can't wait to can't wait to taste this again. Here we go. Mm. Yep, I stand by what I said. Big lychee energy. Um, really clean for an anaerobic coffee, which I think has to do with the thermal shock processing. Um, I mean, it's it's just clean in general. There's no there's no funkiness to it. It finishes and it tapers off. It doesn't linger too too long. Um, and in the middle, yeah, in the middle is where you get all of that like round lychee sweetness, the kind of raspberry water um, flowing through, a little bit of raspberries and cream. Um, overall, like not too too round of a mouthfeel, but like this round expressive sweetness that just tapers off and doesn't linger too too long at the end. Um, again, very structured, super impressive coffee. Definitely an all day sipper. Mm -hmm. Definitely would be really excited about that at any time of day. Um, great, so awesome. Thanks so much for coming back to our brew guides. We very much love putting them together for you. Um, I think I can speak for Brian and I both. And we'll be back next week with another one for you and another drop. Um, ordering from Drops is super easy. All you have to do is text us back. And if you'd like to see anything else, anything different, uh, have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know in the comment section because we definitely read them. We love hearing your suggestions. Only helps us get better. Um, happy brewing. Thanks, guys. And if you're looking for any other recipes for any other brew methods, all of, the, all of those recipes are in the description below, so go ahead and check that out, um, just so you know. Thanks. <laughs> this is wow. This is this is like crazily aromatic, and I, I think it's like kind of like a red fruit on the aromatics. Or I don't know. I'm like kind of my nose is stuffy. Brian's trying to sneeze. Tastes like lychee. <laughs> the heck? <laughs> hey, that's really good. Wow. Yeah. No. This is this is a really good coffee. I uh, I hope you all order it and I hope you enjoy it uh, because we've, I'm really enjoying it. Haley is enjoying it and um, I wanted to try some and I'm very happy with this. This is really good. <laughs> All right. Bye.